G'day guys, Paul here from Get Going. This week we've followed the fish out to the ocean. We're in the Pacific Ocean, east coast of Australia. Hiking out to a remote campsite on a beach, down near a creek. And we'll set up the tarp, do a bit of fishing, chase some brim, whitehead, whiting, anything we can get our hands on. And do a bit of ocean camping. Really nice change up from the mountains and the ridge lines and the valleys and the rivers. And just a stunning day in the winter in Australia. So come along and join me this week. And let's see how many fish we can catch. We've made it to the beach that we want to camp on. We're going to camp down the far end of the beach, but we're just in a little corner here. Uh, a little inlet near the rock face. So what we might do is just cast a few lures in here, see if we can catch ourselves some lunch before we go down the other end of the beach and find a camp spot. We've got plenty of time. It's only 12 o'clock now, so noon. The best time for fishing, but it is, I think, pretty much close to high tide. So anyway, we'll have a flick and see what we can get. That's what we're after. Little brim. Spiky little bugger. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Well guys, I think that'll do for lunch. Nice size brim. Gonna gather up some firewood up along the tree line here. Get it up under the rocks here. We might cook him up over the grill, have a bit of lunch.
Well, fish for lunch. Very, very nice. Bremer are just a beautiful, sweet eating fish. And at that size, between 25 and 30 centimeters, they're absolutely delightful. Really nice, let's put it on a quick fire. Cook it up over the grill. Simple and easy. So we're just on 1.30, so I think we might head out to the beach now. See if we can find ourselves a camp spot. Get ourselves all set up. Find a little bit of firewood. Get organized. And we'll go hunting for fish for dinner. Which I'm looking forward to. Another brim will be very nice, maybe two. That was a little bit, not enough meat probably. But if you can find two or a bigger one, happy days. Well, this is where we wanted to set up camp because we've got this little river inlet here providing some fresh water. It's got a lot of tannin in it, but we can filter that out. We've got a pre-filter as well. It's just a matter of where we can camp and can we camp in a flat spot and uh, out of the wind. We've got a wind coming out from the ocean. So uh, yeah, we don't really want to be getting blown away all night, covered in sand. Yeah, nothing up there. So let's have a look a little bit further around. Well, the tarp's all set up, so we're pretty much set for camp. All we need some firewood to make a fire. There is a fire pit back up in this area. I just want to go and scope this rock cut faces over here. See if we can go with the wind to cast into some uh, deeper water. Get yourselves a bigger brim or a bigger fish of some description for dinner. So I thought before I get some firewood, I might just have a quick scout around, as I said, these rocks, and see what we can find in the way of uh, deeper pools and deeper ledges without getting swept off the rocks obviously safety first we can't be uh getting swept off rocks i'm not geared up for that i don't have anyone else here with me so we're playing it nice and safe but hopefully as i said we can find a deeper hole and we can catch some fish well this is the sort of place we're looking for we've got a nice high shelf here and then a nice deep drop up into some nice dark blue water but we're just going to watch these waves, make sure they're not coming up over here, this particular rock just there. As like I said, I don't want to get washed off. The tide is on its way out, so the water should get a little bit lower. So I think we'll use that as a spot to uh, potentially fish, but right now we might go and get ourselves some firewood and uh, get that all organized. Then we'll come back here about four o'clock when the tide's at its lowest. It's a little bit safer just here. We should be able to peg it into there and hopefully pull out something for dinner. Cheers. Well, unfortunately, we're coming to the end of stout season. It's getting a bit too warm for stout now. Just come down to the uh, beach here under the rocks to uh, get out of the wind. It's an onshore wind, unfortunately. I just tucked around a corner here just uh, having a cleansing uh, stout, some cheese and salami as always. And we'll just wait for that tide to finally drop down. I'm just thinking that place I went to before to fish. Can you keep the noise down, guys? Um, it's great, nice and deep, it's a good spot so forth, but I don't know how I'm going to get the fish then back up onto the rock, so that's mm, probably not going to work. But after then climb down onto the rocks and that's where you end up in the water, so whilst it's uh, perfect depth wise and access wise, it's great, but getting the fish out will be the challenge, so probably not going to work. So we might just go out in front of me here and uh, we'll see what we've got out there and if there's any other better places where I can then pull the fish in like I did earlier in the afternoon on that beach where I can just pull it up onto the sand or up into it. A, uh, a neck in the rocks and so forth and uh, grab the fish out then so we'll have a boat peak. but other than the wind it is just a stunning evening on the beach
Unfortunately, the fish were not on the bite. So, let's come back to the camp, get a fire. And now having fried rice with bacon, egg, peas and corn, a uh, little bit of green onion, some rice. We're just cooking that up in the frying pan now. Hopefully that'll be very, very nice. And we might have to have a bit of an early night. We just had a sprinkle of rain. Not supposed to have any rain at the moment. But, the way it goes with the weather these days, you just can't tell, so. We'll see if it holds out. It's clear again at the moment. So if it is, we'll be able to sit around the fire here with this uh, fried rice. And then later on a bit of dessert with a cup of tea, which will be lovely. this masterpiece. <laughs> that is very nice. Really good. Hmm. Quick and simple but very very tasty. to say this would probably be better with a lager than a stout but we'll suffer through it tell you what all in all a very nice day that uh, broom for lunch was spectacular always nice just to be able to cook something up on a grill on the beach with a little fire cook it up straight away and eating very very nice absolute bonus that one unfortunately no fish for dinner but that's the way it goes at least we got one fish this trip, that's always a bonus. And we'll catch and cook. I have to say the um, fried rice was actually quite nice. I'll do that one again. Yeah, really nice. Really simple, really quick. So yeah, definitely worth doing again. No doubt about that one. Beautiful evening here now. The uh, stars are now out, which is lovely. No more rain, which is nice. And that lovely sound of the ocean in the background. Really looking forward to waking up to that in the morning. It's always spectacular when you wake up, look out of your tent, or in this case, the tarp. It's even better because you don't have to unzip anything, you can just look straight out. See the sun coming up over the horizon. We're looking due east here in the Pacific Ocean, on the east coast of Australia, so the sun will be coming straight up in front of me here. And um, yeah, that'll be really, really lovely in the morning. Might see if we can capture some of that light. Always spectacular. Hopefully the wind will die off tonight. I had spoke to a uh, surfer here that's also camping here tonight. He said the wind's supposed to change tonight, come around again. So that'd be good for when offshore. That'd be lovely. It'll flatten the ocean straight back out again and uh, make for really nice conditions in the morning. 
Not sure if I'll do any fishing in the morning. We'll see how the weather is and how the conditions are. Might end up going back to that little bay where I caught the, the, uh, the brim this morning for the lunchtime and have a flick around there. But otherwise, it'll just be lovely little morning, a lovely cool morning around camp, which I always enjoy. Anywho, I'm going to finish this tea, get some zeds, catch up with you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, folks. We have woken up to an absolutely gorgeous morning. Wind completely dropped off overnight. It's been about 3 a.m. Sun's up, only a handful of clouds in the sky. Just beautiful. I was just talking to a couple of local surfers here, and they said there's a set of caves around the point here where I went to uh, the fishing spot last night. <coughs> Yesterday afternoon, I should say. I might have this coffee and uh, go for a wander around there and have a look. We might take the rod, but we'll just take a take a, a look around at these actual caves. I've always fancied camping in a cave, I must admit. But yeah, we'll check out what the sort of rock it is. If it's sandstone, no good, too dodgy. You never know. We'll have a look anyway. Just walk around to these caves that that guy told me about. Yeah, you could definitely camp in here. Only problem is a bit of moisture there, unfortunately, but I think that's relatively safe. Anything that's going to fall is going to be along this top edge here, and that's going to miss underneath there. So, all windblown sandstone, absolutely beautiful. But I think there's another cave just around the corner here. Let's have a look at that. Goes right in. Let's see if we can get down to that. Whoa, that's pretty spectacular. Well, I don't know if I'd sleep in here, but there's a big shelf up there that's far too lumpy. But yeah, big cave, massive. After returning to camp, I remembered that I was low on water. I needed at least a litre of water for the walk out. So the uh, local stream had beautiful sweet water that was stained with tea tree tannins. So I pre-filtered it using a uh, mill bank bag to remove any debris and large particles before pushing it through the soil filter. I'll tell you what, it makes for very nice water.
Well, I think that might be the end of this weekend's trip, guys. What an absolutely brilliant camp spot. Caves were spectacular, but certainly not somewhere I was sleeping, unfortunately. I did go around at low tide, so at high tide you get a whole lot of sea mist coming in there as well, unfortunately. That's all good. Beautiful part of the world though. Just love these old sandstone areas. Very, very pretty coastline, the Pacific Ocean here. And lovely to watch that uh, sunrise this morning. Just gorgeous. Really, really nice. Anywho, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'll see you all in the fortnight's time. Bye for now.